Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Hey everybody, Solomon here with another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures coming right to you. In this episode, we're going on a volcanic tour of the Eastern Sierras. Now we visited the Owens River Gorge to look at the Bishop Tuff, which is a member that comes from this huge volcanic edifice over there called the Long Valley Caldera, which poses a grave volcanic threat to Las Vegas and the entire West Coast. It's a super volcano that's just as strong as Yellowstone, but much less known about. We also visited the Mono Crater, specifically Pan Am Crater, a volcanic crater that's only about 600 years old. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned to this because we are going to talk some real serious volcanic explosive stuff. Let's go. Allow me to start this video out by reading an excerpt from the USGS to you guys. Long Valley Caldera and the Mono Inyo Craters chain form a large volcanic complex in Eastern California that has had persistent earthquake activity and ground uplift in recent decades. Volcanoes have been active in the area for millions of years, and future eruptions are certain to occur. End quote. The Long Valley Caldera is an edifice of a supervolcano that was created about 767,000 years ago when the area experienced a huge and violent eruption that sent ash millions of square miles across the western U.S. all the way to freaking Nebraska and Kansas. This is a supervolcano that has the potential of erupting in a comparable fashion to Yellowstone. And look at how close it is to Vegas. And as I was previously mentioning, the area is experiencing an increase in seismic activity. In 1980, there was a magnitude 6 earthquake that took place because of magma moving in the caldera. If the Long Valley caldera went boom boom, it would be apocalyptic. Anyways, enough chit chat. That's your background info. Let's learn more about it in the field. Let's go! So all four of the stops of interest in this video follow US 395 north of Bishop en route to Mono Lake. And it's about four and a half, five hours from Vegas. We got the Owens River Gorge, Convict Lake, Minaret Vista, and Panem Crater. And uh, basically just follow US 395 and you'll see signs for each stop. So yeah. So we are out here in the Owens River Gorge out by Bishop, California. And we are in the volcanic unit called the Bishop Tuff which is just hundreds of feet thick of volcanic eruption sediments. Tough, that represents one single volcanic eruption from the Long Valley Caldera, which is the most hazardous volcanic threat to Las Vegas. Last erupted 767,000 years ago and made this 2,000 foot deep caldera that's been uh, filled by these sediments, these tufts, these pumices, these ashes, and uh, these volcanic units are hundreds of feet thick, representing just one eruption. And the Owens River Gorge cut a deep canyon in all this tuff. So take a look. There's the Owens River down there. And you can just see how deep this canyon is. Just one single ignimbrite, which is, uh, you know, the term for this tuff. And one of the chief minerals in here is sanidine, which is a type of rapidly cooling orthoclase feldspar. So this volcano is very felsic, very rhyolitic, which means very explosive and very hazardous, especially for Vegas, which is so close. And right here, we're looking at just the side of one of these roads and you can see those very shiny clasts. You may or may not be able to see it, but those are all sanidine, which is that rapidly cooling potassium feldspar, indicative of that rhyolitic and very felsic in chemistry unit of volcanic tuff. So the Long Valley Caldera is still quite active. Um, you know, there's a slew of cinder cones that are associated with it, the Inyo volcanic field and the Mono volcanic field. Uh, volcanoes at Mono Lake last erupted in the 1850s, and there have been a slew of earthquakes here in the Long Valley Caldera area and Mammoth Mountain areas, um, including a few magnitude sixes back in the 1980s associated with magma moving around under the ground. Furthermore, there is a lot of carbon dioxide degassing in uh, Mammoth Lakes. There has been a whole forest that has been killed by carbon dioxide being released from this magmatic body underneath the ground, seeping up through the air. 
and uh, there's lots of hot springs, hot creeks, and lots of earthquakes that are still happening as magma's moving underground. So the Long Valley Caldera erupting, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So when will the Long Valley Caldera erupt next? Well, it could be today, it could be tomorrow, or it could be 100,000 years from now. But it is definitely going to be soon, geologically speaking. So as I was alluding to previously, the uh, volcanic tuff here in the uh, Owens River Gorge is 767,000 years old. Now, how do we know that? Well, geologists use a process called argon-argon dating to date some of the minerals in this tuff. And Brandon right here works in a lab that dates these. Yeah. So he will tell us exactly how they are dated. Yeah, so I work in the NIGL lab at UNLV. Um, basically, you just, you crush the rocks and uh, you pick out minerals that you think that you want to date. So you can find out the date of the rock sometimes, biotite, hornblende, muscovite, and uh, you put them in these little vials and they go in the mass spec. But um, you need some kind of reference and that's the sanidine can be used as a reference. We call it FC2 sanidine. And yeah, you just put it in there and you get the dates. So that's how we know the 767,000 year figure, Brandon, is, huh? Yes. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. And we have made it to the bottom of the Owens River Gorge. You can see the Owens River just flowing away, comes right from the Sierra Nevadas, which are about five miles west of us. And look at that gorgeous cottonwood tree right there, here in the bottom of the gorge. Gorge is, oh yeah. Nice lizard right there. And right here at the top of the canyon, we've got gorgeous views of the Sierras. It's an active uh, normal fault scarp right there, which uh, started being active around five million years ago, uplifting the Sierras, which are the core of an old volcanic arc, granite batholith, granodiorite batholith to be particular. And uh, that high point right there is in Mount Tom at about 13,400 feet. The 14ers in the Sierras are a bit further south from here, but nice views nonetheless. And over there to the east of us are the White Mountains, high point being White Mountain Peak right there at 14,246 feet above Jose. And uh, yeah, very steep topography out here. And we are out here at Convict Lake on the eastern edge of the Sierras. Just look at that geology. And if you just look at the structures of the geology in this mountain here at Convict Lake, it's just gorgeous. You see a fault propagation fold and a fault clear as day, just highly deformed marbles, slates, metamorphosed sedimentary rocks, meta sedimentaries, just gorgeous. And this doesn't really have anything to do with the volcanism at Long Valley Caldera. It was just a really beautiful like side stop. You go through a nice little hike through the woods here at the lake shore. Hear the birds chirping nice and loudly. If you look right over here, there's Convict Lake. This is like an OG legit forest. Convict Lake, California. Convict Lake. And you know we up front. The tranquility of this place is just unparalleled. Look at the beauty of it. If you're in the Sierras, you gotta love the Sierras. I mean, wow. Here at Convict Lake, See over there the mountains, it's raining. Daniel right there. Is this the channel? This is the channel. Yes! <laughs> we got the, got the marine features bounding it from yeah? the end over there. Nice. Wow. Thunderstorm coming. Raining up there towards the top of the mountain. Wow. So Convict Lake is a great place to come and just enjoy lakeside scenery, see beautiful Sierra Nevada geology with those highly folded marbles and slates up in the mountain behind me. There you go, there you see it. And you can go fishing here, you can go swimming here. It's a great adventure. It's only five hours from Vegas. It's on the way to Yosemite. And I highly recommend Convict Lake. It's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous that it's criminal, which is why it's called Convict Lake. And it's really starting to pour out here. Uh, we had some nice thundercloud build up earlier this morning and uh, it's early afternoon and already we're getting rained on. Pretty cool. Love the weather.
We are here at Minaret Vista, right outside of Mammoth Mountain, and at the crest of the Sierras, it's just gorgeous. So we are up here at Minaret Vista, which is an elevation of about 9,300 feet, 9265, I think, to be exact. Yeah, and what you're looking at right here is the famed Mammoth Mountain, which is, you know, famous as a ski resort, but it's also an active volcano. Well, it's part of an active volcano. It's a day site dome that dates back about 80,000 to 50,000 years, and it's still active. There's been a litany of earthquakes, of magma moving, there's hot springs, there's been forests dying from carbon dioxide escaping from the magmatic reservoirs, and the, the earth is alive and well. We're at the crest of the Sierra Nevadas right now, the Sierra Nevada Mountains, and if you look down there, that's the, that's the San Joaquin River. The headwaters are right down this canyon, and Devil's Post Pile is right at the bottom. If we look across here, we can see some of that gorgeous Sierra Nevada mountain scenery. Um, over here, those spiky mountains, those are the minarets. And to the north of them, that mountain to the south is Mount Ritter, and the mountain to the north is Mount Banner. And then we've got Donahue Pass over here, up at the crest of the Sierras, and the John Muir Trail picks up right here, as does the Pacific Crest Trail. And Yosemite National Park is right on the other side of these mountains. So it's just really pretty up here, and I highly recommend coming out here to get a good view of the area. Look south over there towards Fresno and the San Joaquin Valley and uh, north over here, the Crest of the Sierras, just gorgeous. Those uh, rocks over there that make up the minarets as well as uh, Mount Ritter and uh, the other mountain that I forgot the name of um, are volcanic in origin. They're part of an old caldera from Cretaceous age, uh, which is, you know, about 100 million to 65 million years ago. and. Uh, they're roof pendants of the Sierra Nevadas, which means they are above this granite batholith, this granodiorite batholith that makes up the majority of the Sierras. So it's just a really beautiful place out here and you really get to see the geology. So we are out here at Panem Crater uh, near Mono Lake, just east of Yosemite. And this is a volcanic crater that's only 600 years old. Yeah. And if you look over here, all these edifices are called the Mono Craters, and it's just a sequence of uh, very young volcanoes. Uh, volcanoes from within the last 50,000 years. And uh, if you look over here, we've got a great view of the Sierra Nevadas, gorgeous Sierras, the Sierra Crest. And right over there, we've got Tioga Pass, which leads to Yosemite. Yosemite National Park is right on the other side of these mountains. So a pretty dope place. This uh, Panem Crater specifically, is a rhyolite dome that dates back to about 600 to 650 years. So this just was a volcanic edifice that erupted as recently as 600 years ago. And you can kind of see Mono Lake over there. Um, the island in Mono Lake is 325 years old, meaning that the volcano last erupted less than 325 years ago. So it is crazy out here. We have got a lot of cool stuff to find and to show when it comes to very young volcanism out here in Eastern California. So the lava that erupted here is rhyolitic, about 76% quartz, which means it's very viscous, very resistant to flow, and it is also very explosive. So we've got some uh, volcanic hazards out here. And you will find lots of obsidian, pumice, and ash out here because, like I said, guys, we're on the rim of a crater that's only 600 years old. Um, so very cool specimens, but you're not allowed to take them. So off they go. And if you look down there into Mono Lake, those structures you see right near the shore, those are called tufa. And those actually weren't visible until 1940 when the lake level at Mono Lake went down drastically due to Los Angeles and other Southern California metropolitan areas dredging water from Mono Lake. So it exposed some cool geology, at least that's a plus. So looking down into Mono Lake, that island right there, the white one that's further south, that's called Pahoa Island. And it dates back only 325 years. So that island was created 325 years ago by a volcanic eruption. And the last eruption in Mono Lake was in 1855. So this place is dormant. It can erupt again at any time because the tectonic and volcanic processes that dictate the eruptions here 
are still alive and well. So be careful, active volcano. And again, just a gorgeous view of the Sierras behind this rhyolite dome. On the way up the uh, rhyolite dome. And uh, look at these huge obsidian chunks, guys. Wow. Again, only 600 years old. How big that is. It's crazy. Obsidian is volcanic glass for those of you that uh, don't habla geologia. Here's some pumice with obsidian in it. Here you go. Zoe right there. Thomas. And Alex. Let's go. Let's make it up the dome. Here at the top of the Rhyolite Dome at Pan Am Crater. Look at all that obsidian, rhyolite. This is just evidence of a volcanic wasteland. Only 600 years old. So dope. Look at all this. Broken up obsidian and pumice and volcanic ash from the last eruption. Look at these spires. Just gorgeous and pretty cool. Into the volcanic wasteland we go. And you can see that life takes advantage quickly. These ponderosa pines just took hold of this rhyolite. Pretty dope. Made it to the top of the dome and the view from up here is amazing. You can see the edges of the crater over there and the Sierra Nevada mountains right there. Gorgeous crest of the Sierras. Yosemite National Park right on the other side. Tioga Pass right up there. And then we look over here, Mono Lake, which I told you guys about already. And uh, looking over at the rest of the dome over there. And then we've got hikers right here. I don't know these people at all. They just somehow came along with me. Don't know them at all. <laughs> look at this huge boulder right here. Bet I could pick it up. Easy. How about this one here? Okay, that one's actually heavy. Making our way back. You can see that U-shaped valley in the Sierras right in front of us. Glacial geomorphology. Storm behind it. Highly recommend this place. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. That was the Eastern Sierra Nevada volcanic tour. We learned about the Long Valley Caldera, Mammoth Mountain, Mono Lakes, and some other cool stuff. And uh, now I can finally get some Northern Nevada adventures out to you guys because I'm done with my California stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. If you enjoy content like this, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other adventures right here. As always, guys, peace.